Hey everyone, happy Bookmas Day 8. I had to think about it for a minute. I can't believe it's Bookmas Day 8. We're already done with the first full week of Bookmas, which is kind of crazy to think about. And Christmas is 17 days away. Yesterday, if you saw the video yesterday, you know I drew number 20, no, number 18? Number 18. Yesterday I drew another Jenny Hale book. It's called It Started With Christmas and I was really, really loving this yesterday. I was trying to finish it up, but I fell asleep. I got to about page 150 in it and I really want to continue this, but in order to do so, I'm going to have to finish something else, whatever I draw today or another day, but I want to get back into this. I want to get back into Catching Christmas. And there's another one, um, A Christmas Carol. I wanna get back into those. So I'm kinda hoping for a short book today because I would love for today to just be really successful finishing some books. Today is day eight, which means we are halfway through the second book drawing, which is crazy. Like, how is that even possible? But make sure you are participating in the premiere chat. The premieres are at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day until further notice. Originally, I was going to switch up the times, but people were saying that they were really like looking forward to it at two o'clock every day. Well, two o'clock my time. Um, and I didn't want to like switch it up on people who are showing up and wanting to watch. If 2 p.m. does not work for you, let me know in the comments and I can do a couple of days of the premiere at a different time. Um, but for right now, two o'clock works for me and that time of day wherever it is where viewers are watching works for them too so i didn't want to like switch it up for no reason um but yeah 2 p.m eastern standard time every day let's draw today's book shuffle them around a little bit what's this one on the end let me go with that one number 19 yesterday was 18 today's 19. uh so this book right here in the middle which is short-ish I, I can appreciate. Uh oh. I know. It started with Christmas. I really want to get back to that. I didn't really talk to you too much about that. Let me let me open this book and then we'll talk a little bit more. It feels floppy. It feels I don't know, it's like normal book size, so it's not exactly short. But I'm gonna go take a picture of this and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, we are back. Let's open this up. I have no idea what this is. It could be a myriad of things because I have a lot of regular size books like this. So let's see what Christmassy fun we have today or Hanukkah fun. It could be the matzo ball. We'll see. That's Christmassy. Is this Christmas book shop? That's kind of what it looks like. Yes, I believe it is. The Christmas bookshop. Now, this is the book that I wanted so badly last year and I could not get my hands on. If you saw last year's book miss, this is the one I was referring to. And I have heard some mixed reviews this year, so I'm kind of concerned, but I'm really excited about this. I've never read Jenny Colgan. I do have another book of hers from a little free library that I've not read. Um, I hope that this is gonna be good. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see what I think of this. But basically, laid off from her department store job, Carmen has perilously little cash and few options. The prospect of spending Christmas with her perfect sister, Sophia, in Sophia's perfect house with her perfect children and her perfectly ordered yuppie life does not appeal. Frankly, Sophia doesn't exactly want her prickly sister there either. But she has yet another baby on the way, a mother who is yeah, a mother who is desperate to see her daughters get along, and a client who needs help revitalizing his shabby old bookshop. So Carmen moves in and takes the job. Thrown rather suddenly into the inner workings of Mr. McCready's ancient bookshop on the picturesque street of historic Edinburgh, Carmen is intrigued despite herself. The store is dusty and disorganized, but undeniably charming. Can she breathe some new life into it in time for Christmas shopping? What will happen when a famous and charismatic author takes a sudden interest in the bookshop and in Carmen? And will the Christmas spirit be enough to help heal Carmen's fractured family? Again, I'm hopeful that this will be good. I've been pining after it for over a year, so I really hope that this is a good experience. 
If not, we'll DNF and I'll get back to that lovely little Amish romance if you didn't see the other day. Her Amish holiday suitor, which you can't tell because it's on cinematic. Um, hey, there we go. Love that little book. It's about Amish fake courting. And I'm so here for it. It's so fun. But I am hopeful that this will be good. I would love to finish this book today. It's only 285 pages. So I think I can do it if I really sit down and focus. And then potentially even get back into some of my other Christmassy reads. That would be amazing. I would love, love, love to read the next stave of A Christmas Carol, finish off Catching Christmas, and then get back into It Started With Christmas. But these are some ambitious, ambitious goals. We shall see what happens. But for now, The Christmas Bookshop. Guys, I was just on the premiere chat for yesterday's Bookmas video, um, and those are just so fun. I'm really enjoying getting to chat along with you guys while watching the videos. I am sorry that yesterday's video seemed like it was really short, kind of choppy. Um, there was just a lot going on yesterday, and I was very, very low energy because the day before I'd been up at the hospital till like 1.30. Um, so that's the situation with that, but oh, there's just a lot going on, but I'm really enjoying being able to share Bookmas with you. I didn't also share as much about It Started With Christmas by Jenny Hale as I was hoping to. Like, I just really am enjoying that book and I really want to get back into it. I'm also loving this book so far. I don't think I've talked about it yet. Um... I can see why some people would say we would like have problems with it because the language is not the cleanest. Um, but there's not, I don't know how to explain it. It's not like they're swearing. It's just, it's like not British. They're in Scotland. It's like Scottish language. I don't know how to explain it, but it's not. It's more like the tone in which they speak, which I guess that, that would be what some people are having problems with so far. Um, I am only on chapter 10, so I've not by any means gotten well into this. So I don't know, maybe, maybe there's other stuff that happens later on that I don't know about. But like right now, I'm really enjoying it. The chapters are short. I love a short chapter. I love when books move along quickly um, and it's just engaging and it's fun um the kids are absolutely such jerks <laughs> oh my gosh um and I love kids but like these kids are just savage so far <laughs> but we'll see I feel like something heartwarming is coming in this story so hopefully it'll be good but anyway that being said I would love to finish this up and then get back into it started with Christmas because I really want to know what happens there too. Oh, this is the thing. Like last year, I didn't have enough Christmassy reads. This year, I'm like all the Christmassy reads and I don't have time to read all of them. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to get back into some reading and hopefully make some good progress on this. I would love, love, love to finish another book today. And I just want to know what happens here and what happens in the other book and what happens in all the other books that I've started with the exception of Holiday Grind. That's all. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I'm about 80 pages from the end of this, so I feel like I am going to finish it. Um, but I definitely am seeing some of the things that people were saying about this. Uh, definitely a lot of language with one of the characters in particular that just doesn't really seem necessary to the story. And also there's something that I find really offensive on page 197. And if you read this book and you know anything about me or have watched my videos, you can probably figure out what that is. Um, not fond of this. I feel like that page alone just is really ruining this for me. Not that I'm like super engaged with it anyway. I was really enjoying this at the beginning, but it's definitely just kind of, I'm just reading it to read it at this point. Um, but I'm so close to the end that it's kind of seems stupid to DNF. Um, so I'm going to read and find out what happens. Like, is it, I, is there anything to this? Um, really just cause I want to know what happens with the bookshop, but nothing else is really, and I feel like there might be something happening with the family dynamic, but nothing really relationally that I'm like, oh, oh I want to know what happens. Um, anyway, I love the actual physical copy of this book because it lays flat and it's floppy, but I don't necessarily love the contents. And it's so sad because I love, love, love this cover. Anyway, I'm going to try to finish this because, because if I don't finish this, I can't go back and read the other books that I've opened for Bookmas. I'd only be able to go and read my Amish romance, which I love. But if I finish this, then I have a choice. I could go read the Amish romance or I could go back to It Started With Christmas and Catching Christmas, A Christmas Carol, all the books I'm really, really loving that I want to finish. Uh, yeah, so that's the situation I am going to finish this. Side note, if you're like me and have any kind of faith background, I'd recommend skipping chapter 25 like I just did. I'm just moving on. We're not doing that. Okay, finished this, gave it 1.5 stars. There was so much potential. I'm so disappointed. I mean, now I'm glad I didn't get my hands on it last year because I really wanted to read this last year. And that would have been really disappointing considering I only had a few bookmas books last year. But um, yeah, not fond of this at all. It had such potential. There were certainly some cute moments in here and it could have been really, really good. Um, but we just don't do the uh, insulting people's faith, especially like, anyway, I may be able to more clearly explain my thoughts tomorrow, but right now I'm just mad and I don't like this and it will be getting unhauled. So there's that. Okay, it's about 10.45 at night, and I think to settle down for the night, I am going to pick up what it started with Christmas. Did wonders for me falling asleep last night. Maybe it'll help tonight. I don't know. Um, but I think that I am going to pick up with this. I There's probably no way I'm going to finish this tonight. But just to read a little bit more and experience some more happiness, hopefully... This does not take a downward turn like the Christmas bookshop did, but I just love it and I hope to continue loving it and I would like to enjoy it. So that's what I'm going to be reading. For today's emoji, you can put any star emoji you want. My favorite is these, but whatever star you like, go ahead and put that in the premiere chat. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my pillow here. Go ahead and put that in the premiere chat or the comments, whatever you're commenting on whenever you're watching this. And yeah, that's that's going to be the emoji for today. Tomorrow, I actually have stuff going on that I'm planning on going to, fingers crossed. So I need to go. I'm going to read, but I do need to get to sleep so that I can get up early and go to these things and do all the stuff I have to do. Um but also have time to do book mist before that. So, 
I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was a little bit of a disappointing read today, but it is what it is. I mean, I knew there were gonna be books in my book advent that I didn't like. I just didn't expect it to be that one, but it is what it is. So on that note, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, comment whatever you would like, and subscribe if you have not already so you don't miss the next videos of Bookmas. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!